Hey y'all and welcome to another episode of Eating Good in the Woods Campground Reviews. Listen, if you're looking for a mountain retreat that'll get you away, and I mean way away from it all, then look no further than Oconee State Park in beautiful Mountain Rest, South Carolina. Tell you what, follow me, I'll show you around. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you guys, please don't forget to mash that subscribe button, give me a big old thumbs up, maybe even leave me a comment or two, I sure would appreciate it. Wanted to tell you guys about this great app too, RV Parky. What a wonderful app to go find campgrounds all over this great country of ours. And it's absolutely free. Check your Play Store. Now, I know y'all are going to think I'm crazy by saying what I'm about to say, but we love to camp in the winter for a bunch of reasons. But the biggest two, I'd say, is there's nothing better than sitting around a nice campfire with a nice hot beverage. And also, the campgrounds are a lot less crowded in the winter than they are in the summer. And this winter in Oconee has been no different. Now before I start this video off in my usual way, I want to tell you one little thing about Oconee State Park here in South Carolina. You are far removed away from civilization, so I highly suggest you bring your groceries with you in a way to keep them cold, because the nearest grocery store is a good stretch away from Oconee. And now for my usual disclaimer. Y'all, this is an active bear area as well as plenty of other wildlife, and I cannot stress this enough. While they are cute and cuddly, never approach a bear. And unless you want one in your campsite at 3 o'clock in the morning, ask me sometime how I know about this, you will put away all of your food, put it back in your cooler and stow it away in your vehicle, or make sure it goes in the refrigerator of your RV. Make sure all dishes, pots, and pans that you use to prepare your meals with are clean and stowed away. Don't do anything to attract bears to your campsite. Also, I'd like to remind you, please don't bring firewood from home. Always buy your firewood either there at the park or within a couple of miles of the park. When you bring in firewood from miles away, you run the risk of introducing invasive insects from other areas. The most common one being the emerald ash borer beetle. More information on this subject can be found at www.dontmovefirewood.org. Say that reminds me, if y'all are looking for a way to support this channel, keep this here trainer rolling full of farm fresh content twice a week, why don't you slide over to my Teespring shop get yourself a coffee mug or maybe even a t-shirt but if you don't want to do that how about you go to buymeacoffee.com and for the price of a cup of coffee you help keep this train a rolling you can also visit boondockerswelcome.com all of the links are in the description thanks a bunch all right let me tell you all a little bit about this park the Oconee State Park is one gorgeous, relaxing mountain retreat. Encompassed in the Oconee State Park is a lovely campground, rustic Civilian Conservation Corps era cabins, and a good old fashioned swimming hole. You can also rent canoes and go fishing in this park. Let me tell you about some of the features in this park. It is one of 16 South Carolina State Parks that was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. The campground has 139 standard campsites with water and electrical service. It also has 15 rustic tent sites. And hey, if camping ain't your thing, there are 19 historic Civil Conservation Corps built cabins for your family to enjoy. There are four rentable picnic shelters for group gathering. And like I said, one old fashioned swimming hole. There is also a CCC replica water wheel located near the swimming lake at the outlet of the spillway of the historic bathhouse. The wheel on the replica is the original one used by the CCC. There's also an 18 hole mini carpet golf course located in the campground for anyone to enjoy. And there is 1,165 beautiful acres of South Carolina upcountry. 
hiking really isn't my thing. My thing is really more like putting my feet up on the cooler and watching the fire burn out. But if it's your thing, you're in luck at this park. There are seven mountain trails, all ranging from half a mile to a little over two miles, and all difficulty levels from easy to strenuous. You got the Foothills Access Trail, Hidden Falls Trail, Lake Trail, Wormy Chestnut Trail, Oconee Trail, Thomasy Knob Trail, and the Old Water Wheel Trail. Lots of fun stuff to do at this park too. As I mentioned, you can fish. You must possess a South Carolina state fishing license, which I think you can get one of those at the gift shop. There is a fishing pier, as well as the Tackle Loaner Program, which is sponsored by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. While there is boat access, only kayaks, paddle boards, non-powered boats, and such can be used on the lake, and life jackets must be worn at all times. You can rent a non-motorized fishing boat for $35 a day. You can also rent canoes and kayaks, as well as pedal boards. The park does feature wireless internet access, and there is a gift shop. There is a playground as well as a mini golf course, and swimming is permitted in the park in designated swimming areas. There is no lifeguard, so you swim at your own risk. Geocaching is a popular thing, and geocaching is permitted in this park. For more information, go to the official geocaching website. Biking is also permitted, as well as pets. As long as you follow the usual rules, they must be on a leash, cannot be left alone, and please, folks, clean up after your pet. Well, that's going to about do it for this episode of Eating Good in the Woods Campground Reviews. I don't think you're going to beat Oconee State Park. Well, listen, y'all going out there, be nice to one another. I sure love you. God bless. Bye-bye.